That would be what? 7.25? I guess? Anyway. I hope I've been so of some help. Oh, one more thing, Layson. Yes, sir? Please keep this a secret. If the other professors discover that he helps me. I understand, do you, Delamona? Your secret is safe with me. Well, that's a relief. Now I can... I'll find that golden garden and go... Go to write, get to writing me a third paper on it. And let's talk to Rosa real quick. What's this? Back again? Not quite. I need to to check a couple of items. Well, uh, take it easy, Professor. Oh, and by the way, I found. I found this when I was cleaning. Do you need it? Rosa, that's it. Black ostrich. <laughs> Puzzle number 82. Rearrange the pieces making up the shape of Leighton's hat in the shape of an ostrich. You can move, flip, or rotate the pieces in any direction. Okay, let's, let's do the pink part first, since that's the teeny tiniest. Uh, okay, that's how you flip it. And this. Right there. This one. You gotta, you gotta rotate it, I think. No, not that one. This orange one. Okay, you rotate it, I guess. There we go. You flip the orange one. And now this white one, you rotate it and flip it. And there you go. This took some creative thinking. I love the thrill of a good solution. I like the puzzles that are, that are like jigsaw puzzles. I don't know why I, I do. Like the one in, um, Diabolical Box? <laughs> That's odd! That ostrich looks as if it's ready to set up running, doesn't it? But, I, but, I, I, I took a second look at this. Is it some sort of puzzle? It's one, it's one of my students gave that to me. Thank you, Rosa. Is it the one that's, that has a crush on you? You're very welcome, Professor. Actually, Rosa, can you put this away here? That's where I'm, I'm sure not to lose it again. I wonder if, um... Move this shoe over here. I wonder if, um... If Roland and Lucille ever visit Herschel. Let's go to the yard! Oh right, it was that big red guy that, um, that smashed this. Oh, and Undyne found a pink coin over here. Oh, wrong room. <laughs> Didn't mean to go to the archive. I meant, I meant to go to Monica over here. Well, what what records do you need to dig up today? Good sir. We're actually passing through. Uh, we're passing through actually. But thank you. Pampasa, do you have a moment? I come across. I came. I've came across a puzzle that's uh, has been making the rounds. I would like. I would love 
love to be the first to, I would love to be the first to come up with a solution. So you're making Herschel do your puzzle so you can get take the credit. Make that makes sense. Huh. Puzzle number eighty three Silver Marbles. To solve this puzzle, you need to remove all but one of the silver marbles below. You can jump a marble horizontally or vertically over an adjacent marble and into the empty space to remove the jumped over marble from the board. Also, you can move or jump over any marble except the ones marked with an X. So it's kind of like uh, from Diabolical Box. Yeah, you, you guys can pause that and read it. Okay. I think what you need to do is... Choker bowl, doesn't it? That and that. Some puzzles must be met directly. <laughs> A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. I just noticed the camera was a bit off. Starling work. Perhaps the most satisfying way to solve this puzzle is to leave the final marble in the very center. How did you manage it? You, Papasa, do not disappoint. You had the head and shoulders above our police force. Oh, it, it was nothing. And so modest. I suppose you can... You can... Yeah. I suppose you can't help being a gentleman. And let's go to the guy selling flowers. Sorry. Well, hello again. Business is blooming, I trust. I forgot what voice I gave Augustus. Oh, yes. Things are going very well, thank you. You've been busy. A busy little bee by the looks of it. In what way, what could be better from, uh, for a busy bee than some flowers? Take a whiff of this divine fragrance. Smells lovely. Mmm. Well, every garden is the path to, to happiness, I say. Sixteen tulips. Puzzle number eighty-four. You've placed you planted sixteen magical tulip buds in the in this four by four flower bed. Watering the space will cause the magic bulbs in the same row co and come to sprout if they are below ground, or recede if they're above ground. Can you figure out how to fill the entire flower bed with tulips? Think first over here, then here, then here, here. Huh. I'll handle this one, Professor. Puzzle was no problem. No problem at all. Come 
Correct. Watering the flowers, flower bed as shown above will fill it with tulips. Although, now that your garden is full, you have to work out how you're going to water all those flowers for the rest of the summer. I wish I could make flowers bloom all across London. Want some co covered in flowers? Somehow I can't imagine it. Well, if you play, if you play the Beatles Rock Band game in one of the cutscenes, London is full of flowers. Fancy meeting you here. Fancy meeting you here again. As usual, my bus is late. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna take a look at this? Puzzle number 85, bus stop. The buses at the, at the stop leave, leave the times indicated by the schedule below. The first column marks the hour, and the next three mark the minutes. All the buses start at this bus stop and take exactly one hour to return. What is the minimum number of buses necessary to, to service this bus stop? Let's see. One hour, huh? It's just a guess. I think I've got this one. I did it, Professor. Correct. At least five buses are necessary to serve this route. Four buses wouldn't be quite enough. You got a new action for the puppet theater. Covered. Well, if you were living in the modern day, you would have a cell phone that you would stare at. <laughs> like most people. Give me, give me some time to think of another puzzle. I'll make it really hard next time. Hey, Chappie. Oh, I forgot you're you're the. You're the guy that meows a lot, right? Yeah. Did you say something? Oh, uh, Luke. This is the museum cur curator, Chappy. How can anybody understand what you're saying? He has a great fondness of cats, which leaves him... Leads him to some eccentric behavior. Meow. He needs our help. I can understand him. You can? It's kind of like in Foster's Home for an Imaginary Friends. Somehow everybody understands Coco. And Coco is my favorite character in that show. So you want the. You want to board up the broken window, but much of too much of much to your dismay, the only pieces of board you can find have holes in them. Place the broken boards over the window so that the broken square part is completely covered and no holes show through. By no boards may extend beyond the square frame. If you but you can flip and rotate each piece